People from around the world are helping Nashville to set records with 15.2 million visitors just last year. Now this is a live look over Broadway. But while our city attracts guests, large crowds we know can also attract danger. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall went to an active shooter training for Broadway employees. We live in a world where people are constantly on the go or distracted. Today, Broadway business employees completed an active shooter training to protect themselves and their customers. Inside Acme on Broadway, yeah. hospitality employees with Music City's popular bars got hands-on experience Here my God. in this active shooter scenario. The annual training offers potential life-saving skills. Employees decide whether to run, hide, or fight. And if somebody's doing something that ain't normal for this restaurant, we need to bring it to somebody's attention. Former Nashville police officer Ken Alexandro runs the program. He teaches participants to put a plan in place and be vigilant. We want to first deter it from ever happening. That's the win, right? Um, if it does come on the property, we want to be able to spot it, identify. You can't stop what you can't see. And then what are we willing to do when they come here to keep it from hurting our people? Bartender Lisa Carco says serving up safety is a top priority. It's unfortunate something like this needs to even be a thing, but the fact is is that it's just all about being safe. Acme Feed and Seed owner Tom Morales hopes his staff never has to use what they learned. You know, Las Vegas was a country music attack, and we have 30,000 people roaming the streets on a Friday or Saturday night in Nashville, so uh, we need to be vigilant as a, as a community and, and as a business. So the business of Music City can continue to sound like this while being prepared for this. In Nashville, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. In addition to training hospitality employees, Metro Police have also beefed up their patrols on Broadway on weekends.